So we got um, Ning and Nee from uh, where we're staying. That's the two guys in front there. So basically they're gonna sort of, we, we follow them. Got a couple of nights, we follow them. They'll uh, take us sort of around through the back ways just to avoid the uh, police stops. Doesn't matter what the situation is, you know, the police are fining people 1.5 million dong, which is, you know, it's nearly 130 odd dollars. So, um, you know, the bike in three days is worth $200, 220 dollars. So, yeah, we're not going to see everything, but we're not going to have problems with the police, I hope. Really nice riding this stuff with uh, a bit of horsepower. Check all this out, eh? Beautiful. Yeah, Dave had it stuck on the corner. <laughs> oh, yeah, no scratch, not bad. <laughs> Bit of action. Yeah. <laughs> you alright, mate? <laughs> Yeah, this is a traditional village. It's, uh, they're making all the hemp. It's all traditional way still. They're keeping the tradition in the whole village. They've all got a little job to do and they're making, I don't know, making t-shirts, I presume. Yeah. How long should you do that? All day? Yeah. Oh. You know, sometimes we have to change because it's boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, change. Yeah, saw. Hello, 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 hello. Looks like they got their chairs for school. Take your own chair. Yeah, kind of heading through these mine, mine, minority villages. Just really nice, though. Eh? Uh, so no tourists. I'm amazed, but I think we're taking this back track. I don't think too many people are taking that. Now yeah, check this out. Oh, man. oh yeah. You know, yeah, there's quite a bit. These are the hemp, 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 hemp trees. Tree. Hemp trees all yeah. down here. Yeah. Well, the rice terraces, eh? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, mate. Yeah. comes here it's kind of the last stop of the day so we haven't seen anybody but everyone's cruising around everyone going different ways oh that's spot and of course got the old cafe going on of course all right this is our first night been for a swim in the waterfall left the waterfall oh yeah there's a bathrooms and stuff okay downstairs because we're upstairs a bit of a view going on here and uh, I'm not sure on the uh, not sure on the structural integrity here, but anyway, I'll have a look. Look pretty good. And here's the uh, easy room here. <clears throat> Just a rock hard. Oh, soft, brilliant. Yeah, nearly sunset and. What a great place to, uh, actually really nice and it's got a, well, I think I'll say it's a soft mattress. Uh, that's getting some extra points.
as the butchers. Oh, that's where we had lunch. Uh, weather's perfect. Last night was great. Soft mattress, um, really noisy but. And the whole top building was like moving around. I, I gotta say, I was a bit worried at one point. I thought, at any rate, a few people rolled around on the mattress, the whole top thing seemed, the whole, the whole top of the building seemed to move around. You know, there's no engineering in that out here in the country. I asked, you know, they said, if you wanna build something, you just build it. So I think, you know, it's just a bit of experience. Anyway, that's all good. Check it out. Okay, so I think there's a sign up there that says UNESCO, so don't know if it's sort of heritage listed. Or what the story is, but anyway, check it out. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, it's an old French fort. <clears throat> uh, it's really soft. So Dave, the French guy, has a good bit of intel actually. So we thought it was soft and whatever, but they build it soft. So when it gets hit by the uh, cannonball, yeah, uh, it absorbs the impact and doesn't blow it apart. Makes sense. And looking at all the villages down there and oh, just loving it, you know. Hello. Ciao. Yeah, heaps of kids just sitting on the side of the road just going for a cruise or a walk. I don't know, you got to wonder where they come from. Nothing like really close by. Hello. Hello. Everyone's pretty friendly. Be worried about my fuel situation. Terraces down there. I've got drum brakes, eh, front and back. And uh, I reckon I've got a bit of brake fade, eh? Gotta be careful coming down these hills. Anyway, it's good to have a Ning. I just see him constantly, eh? Just looking around, we're constantly changing directions a little bit. Basically cat and mouse with the police, which sounds pretty dodge, but it's not really. It's just to avoid any sort of issues. It saves any unnecessary complications, so. <laughs> right, I just lost my water. I heard that bounce off. I'm not stopping to go back, there's too much traffic there. I'll get another bottle down the road. <laughs> Come on. How yeah, they done that? They're going up to Zandia. Another prank. So these roads on this bike is really tiring. Doing the Gip River Road on the Africa Twin was easier than doing these roads on this little Honda thing I'm riding now. Some lunch. Uh, the road works are over, so we're off and running again. Which which way are we going then? Yeah. That way? Yeah. Oh, that way? Yeah. Right, eh? Water bottle, but he asked me about the brakes, and I said, yeah, there's, 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 not, there's not a lot happening, really. <laughs> uh, I mean, we don't get any speed up, so it's all right. Awesome. 
And what's the boat? We go on the boat or we just cross the river on the boat? Yeah. We go, on, we go on that boat? Huh? We going on that boat? Yeah, on that kind of boat and go to the uh, the canyon over there yeah, and yeah. go back. Oh, yeah. One hour. Oh, yeah. It's good, eh? Nice relaxing. Yeah, just uh, relaxing. Yeah, you're good. Uh, hydro power station down here, going on. Fashion shoots again. Hello, princess. Fashion shoots in that boat too. I love it, eh? Beautiful, eh? We finished the boat ride, that was really relaxing. Oh, the hardest. The hardest, yeah. Uh, happiness Road? Yeah. Is that what it's called? We have just been here before the Happiness Road. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Pretty specky, uh, mate. That's the Chinese border again, Yunnan. And there's actually a fence there, like a big. Uh, barbed wire right eh? yeah but it's not barbed wire but it's not electric yet but apparently they're going to make it electric a bit like the US Mexico wall like the US Mexico wall wow. he's going for a walk over the hill have a look what's happening over the other side he's going on the edge here Hello. <laughs> Heading to the uh, homestay for the night. Awesome day. Right, just coming into the accommodation. That's it, that looks 10 out of 10. That's not it. So we're going through the brickworks. It is the brickworks. Not sure where we're going. Anyway, looks like we're going to have a view. All right, this is looking like us. It's going here. Oh, now we've got the fire going. Hello. <laughs> Ah, super. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Hello, Ting Tao. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Right, so here's a dig. So we've got the bikes over there. Going to go over there. Here's my room here. I thought we might have been sharing there for a little bit, but yeah, we got some power and some lights and, you know, everything you need. And, uh, toilet and uh, shower there. So, uh, you know, basic, but it works, it's good. Nothing fancy, but that's the way I like it. Right, that was a brilliant day. Oh, and here's the Dong Van. Here's the view. Everyone kind of raves about this place. Uh, right, so everyone's pretty excited because we're doing hot pot. So, actually, I don't know what's going on here, but 
and there's a fair bit. There's more over there, so there's a plate full of noodles. Now we have the noodles. What's with black chicken? What's that? The skin is looks black and it's not a yellow chicken. No. No white chicken. Yeah. Mm, could be interesting. Alright, so we're doing the hot pot, so we've got black chicken, which is the species. No. That's in there. The beef, which is not in there yet. All of that. And then um black you're not you're not, you're not on camera, Dave, but yeah. Yeah. myself and Dave are pretty <laughs> Came to see this black chicken cook for a while uh, before we eat too much. So, um, uh, but anyway, it'll be very nice, I'm sure. Put, maybe yeah, put some sauces on here. Mm. And, uh, and here's our host. Mm. Put some sauces on the. Mm. Well, I'll even leave that for a while, eh? So, what's this happy water? Is this uh, rice or corn? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's Dave's favorite. <laughs> Sante. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. okay, I uh, changed my mind. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, Dave's gone. Right. All right. Yeah, very good man. You can have a little yeah. sip. Sante. Yeah. Sante. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Santé. Santé. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, it's, 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 uh, it's good. That's smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. Uh, hi, Bazo! Hi, Bazo! Hi, Bazo! We have another way of. Uh, uh, when you come in, where, when you want to, to make the tour? Uh, I say back. I'm engaged. Girls party over here. Ah, I, uh, Another is like, uh, uh, I know. Boys party over here. Oh my god. Neil, Neil wants to get the karaoke going. Yeah. Kaka! <laughs> I hope uh, Neil can sing on the karaoke. He's trying to get it going. I think the batteries. I think. I think there's no. I think there's no. I don't think there's any batteries. Neil is a very good singer. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Yeah, just need to get the batteries and get the microphone going on. Pretty sure we're gonna regret that one, but anyway. Uh, Dave's been drawn to another. Dave. Dave's been drawn to another table. <laughs> Dave. Dave is defected. <laughs> um, and he didn't learn anything from last night because he drank too much uh, corn, corn, right, corn wine. Uh, but now he's on the corn wine again. <laughs> This is Neil, this is Neil our, uh, beautiful mate. What a singer, he's got a good voice. Mm. I think we just broke out the big boy speakers. Ah yeah. We, we, we did this stump before. Oh! It's gonna impress the girls. Uh, host of the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> we come back home. We are um, fire. No, the bridge. Yes, you can. Fire, 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 f
This is the center. It's like the center of the uh, center of the loop. Yeah, we're at the servo. It's all filling up the scooters. No cars, no trucks, scooters. Dave, Dave just dropped his water. We've got a fashion shoot going up here. And Dave just has been rounded up for a fashion shoot, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really nice, eh? Really good. <laughs> so this place is in Vietnam. <laughs> uh, the house up there is in uh, China. Very, very, very close. Yeah. Oh, there's the fence. I can see the fence. You can see the border, the fence. Yeah, there is a fence over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Next to it is a border gate. So this marks the first high point of Vietnam from China. Yeah. Ah, it's good. Yeah. Hello, Australia. Yeah, hello, Australia. Yeah, hello, Vietnam. <laughs> ah, Vietnam. Vietnam. Vietnam, very good. Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Huh? I'm gonna go up just for a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? I have a cigarette. Ah, this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. All the uh, all the rice fields ready to go. Oh, local tourists, China over there. Awesome, hey. So that's probably oh, that's probably good timing because got the people coming. Now they're going to um, oh, the edge. Uh, change the change, change the flag. So ten minutes later, be no flag. Uh, this is a village, L L Lulu Lulu ethnic group village. Got the new flagpole, beautiful village. So they cleaned it all up and changed the architecture a little bit, because it used to be a really really poor village apparently. There we go here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lot of people, so they don't speak Vietnamese, uh, completely their own language. So I tried to get a coffee, and uh, yep. So not Vietnamese, not Chinese. Hey, that's the policeman down there. He just passed me. Yeah, it's not Vietnamese, not Chinese. It's yeah, their own, not even a dialect, completely different language. Lolo. Lo. Oh, they got the new flag going on. Yeah, that was a really nice little stop. Yes, we got the whole family on the scooter in front here. We've got four of them, four of them on board. Here we go. And a family wagon. 18th, 18th century, King's Palace. All built, balanced, uh, Feng Shui. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, it's like a like turrets. Yeah, that's the entrance to the palace. 18th century. Right. Just beautiful, eh? It's going back. I don't know. Hopefully he's just asleep. Some guy on the road. No, this don't look too good. No, I'm gonna stop filming, okay? Alright, good news, he's he's just drunk and we think he's fallen over. I'll report to the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Ning wants me to film it, so we just put some stuff here to try and divert the traffic. Yeah, looking pretty specky, nice river down there. I've seen we've picked up the pace a little bit. We're doing sort of, uh, we're doing the big 50, 50k an hour. Beautiful. This is, this is lunch. Looks a bit dodge. Yeah, there's a bit going on here. This is our little last, last, last little run into uh, Hajang, so. Sort of back onto the main road, I guess, if you call it. Yep. So that would be costing them $130, there. Through the... You've got one more. Uh, two yes. More. Yes. Two more. Yeah. Two more. One in the city easier. Ah, okay. One in the city. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was easy, eh? Yeah. We do that again in the next one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We're hoping we got this right. I said to wait five minutes and then go. If not, uh, actually, there's a phone message. I might just check it. Right, so the message wasn't Ning, so um, the fact we haven't seen him, we're thinking, is good news. But you know, they give a set of instructions, they give a bit of time. You know, and we don't really understand each other. Dave's French, I'm Australian, and two Vietnamese, so then we sort of, oh, everyone roars off, and then we're all looking at each other, saying, hang on, what's going on? We're too sure what's going on. Oh, here they are, here they are. Here they are, so we're okay. It's good? No. Uh, we've done the old switch Uh, the police are coming again, so we're just going to do the old ride across, same as last time. Okay, so this is the last, this is the last checkpoint. We got told to wait two minutes and then go, so we're just going to go slowly. So I'm kind of curious because that mobile one, the you know the mobile uh, check. So those people that were getting fined, let's call it, uh, they could have got fined at the first one, then the second one, and and then depending on what the situation is on up here. So if you three fines and you and you, you didn't negotiate with the cops, you could be at a hundred you could be at four hundred and fifty dollars just trying to get back into town. So I think actually the way we've done it, well, I want to speak too soon, I want to get through this I want to get through this checkpoint now. I think the way we've done it, we haven't had to worry about navigation, haven't had to worry about accommodation, 
food and all that, but we've been able to do whatever we want to do. We can stay longer, shorter, do whatever we want. So, and we've got the assistance now of going through this sort of crap, you know? So, I reckon it's a good way to go. Looking really nice. Haven't seen the boys still heading in the, back in the hijang. Haven't seen the boys. I mean, if I haven't seen them, I've known, you know, I presume that's good news. Right, so they're gonna go and stay in a bungalow. Because, uh, it's probably nicer than, Ninja's all right for a bit of a base just to, to do this ride and whatever, but I think the bungalow sounds pretty nice out in the fields. Hey, I'm back in Hajiang. Uh, <clears throat> check out me digs. So I've got one of these, uh, one of these bungalow things. Some sort of thing going on today, all these ladies playing the instruments and singing. Uh, we're on the big bucks, $34 a night. Mattress, comfortable. Uh, last night there was some hot water and a little reasonable pressure. This morning, none, none of that was going on. So anyway, but um, oh yeah, I'll show the swimming pool. <coughs> There's a swimming pool. So out of town, 6k out of town. <coughs> Just take a couple of days and work out what's, what's, what I'm doing next. Flowers, eh? Yeah. Women's Day, Mother's Day. Oh, no, Women's Day. Yeah. Not Mother's Day, Women's Day. Yeah. Just cruising around, really, looking, looking for something to eat now. It's hard in the local ones, though, because uh, trying to speak the language and get what you actually want. So what you think you're getting and what you end up with can be completely different. And then like last night, oh god, sat down with the family, there was a few other people too. Look, I, I honestly thought it was pork, it was bloody dog, I found out afterwards it's a bloody dog. I didn't feel too good about that. So we're just going to try the barn me from here, I know it's not going to be awesome but anyway, just a bit of a snack on the run. And a nice lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. A lot of flowers for sale, see them across the road there, they're everywhere. Women's Day. So I, I don't know if that I, I I don't know if that's Mother's Day or well, I think it actually is, so it's a women's day, so yeah, everybody, same as everywhere. Um, really nice, heaps of flowers and everything all out and uh, everyone doing the right thing, doing the nice thing. Hmm. Had the sausage bar me. Now I'm having the omelette bar me because there's not much to them actually about a dollar each lemon juice old mate over here is really happy because uh, it's good <laughs> yeah old mate's really happy because I'm telling me how good it is which actually it is it's actually the best ones I've had so good very nice one and this is a master 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 chef <laughs> barn, to Vietnam. yeah barn, best best barn me yeah <laughs> thank you mate came on so this is kind of the action center so <clears throat> that side and this side just talking a couple of people inside there and they live here right um, <clears throat> Waiting tea, they always give you a cup of tea when you're waiting for a coffee, drink, anything. And uh, this is, this will be an interesting one. So I want to try this. They didn't have egg coffee, so it's a salt, salt coffee. Could be interesting. That's the best coffee I've ever had. Salt coffee, that had the egg on, egg coffee as well. So it's egg coffee with the salt. I don't know, I haven't tasted anything quite like that before. So, uh, you know, Dad's in a bit of strife in this coffee, because uh, 
I think there's a new standard set at the moment, so uh, yeah. I, if you're here, you would turn into a coffee person. I'm not a coffee person, but the coffee here is really, really, really good. Still about two k's from where I'm staying. I'm gonna say tomorrow. I want to say it there because I want to um, look at some stuff today, but actually it's not worth it. So tomorrow, I think I'm going to move again because it's really easy. I've got no luggage, so. Right, so uh, there's quite a few more. Well, look at the people over there. There's quite a few more people, but uh, look, they're really nice. But anyway, I was just talking to some guy and his son, and it's just a really casual question, you know. So they're just being really nice, and it's. What am I doing tomorrow? And then you kind of, so now I'm going there for lunch with the family. Look, it's really nice, and I couldn't get out of it, and they're really not, and the, the boy's a little bit um, uh, speech impaired, so he's trying to learn English, and really nice. And, uh, but you know, you think, oh God, here we go, and all these family, family lunches, but you know, look, it's really nice, and actually, in all honesty, I don't really have a plan tomorrow, so, you know. It's a bit of a weird place, this one. All those bunk beds and whatever. And uh, check out bedrooms. Okay, it's toilets. Just all these bunk beds everywhere. I can't be doing that. Let me check out my room. I don't even have a lock on the door. <laughs> anyway, we've got a pretty good looking safe. Uh, there's nothing in my... There's nothing There's nothing in my bag anyway. Dirty t-shirts and jocks. Everything's on me. Everything's on me. Yep. Roll, mate. It's, just, it's nice, but you know. Uh, and I've booked some sort of a night bus tonight to go to Haiphong. To go to Cat Bar. I'm not going all the way through. Communication is pretty hard trying to work something out, so look, just going to take the bus. I don't know how long it takes. Um, over to uh, to uh, Haiphon, and then I'll work it out from there, get the bus and the ferry and whatever, trying to get to Cat Bar Island just for a bit of a change of scenery. Not expecting anything fantastic, but anyway. Anyway, I don't know what's going on. Old mate said he was coming. But I don't know where he is. Uh, hey, check out old mate over here. Spray paint is, um, I don't know what it is. But anyway, he rang it out of the fabrication shop just there. Runs it across the road. Dodges all the traffic. Now he's spray paint on the side of the road. That's his, that's his spray booth. <laughs> so he's making all the wine. He sells wine. All fermenting down here, I presume. That's his business. I thought he was a tour leader. Uh, okay, so... Uh, ding. Ding, the ding. Uh, master chef. Yeah. And thank you. And we've got the omelette, uh, some vegetable, tofu, pork, and we had the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and... Lu? 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 Yeah. Uh, 14, and we're going to be the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, very nice. Uh, invited for lunch, very nice, thank you. Yeah. Xin chào, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. yeah, come on, thank you. Yeah. Very good. See you later. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I'm on this... Uh, Sleeper bus. It's not quite what I thought. And the problem is, I thought it got in the cat bar at about six in the morning. I believe it's getting in at two o'clock in the morning. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Um, it'll be interesting when it comes time to get out because it was a little bit hard to get in. Kept banging my knees on this thing and felt like a bit of a, uh, felt like I'd done a yoga class by the time I'd got in here. <laughs> <laughs>